A lot of sports bloopers can happen in a year. And when those bloopers are spectacular or really ridiculous, they can offer chuckles and entertainment for a long time. Here are some of 2018's greatest sports bloopers. Behold, a perfectly flawed baseball play that makes the bad news bears look like the good news grizzlies. In the eighth inning of a clash between the Colorado Rockies and Cincinnati Reds, Rocky Carlos Gonzalez batted a fly ball to right center field. Reds outfielder Billy Hamilton seemed all but destined to catch it, but instead the ball slipped past his outstretched glove. But it'll be right... Oh, boy. Meanwhile, Gonzalez rounded second base, but got tripped up on his way to third, although it didn't turn out so bad for him. Hamilton dropped the ball, and Gonzalez will go around second. He falls down, and he's still able to get back to second base. Colorado went on to score a 6-3 victory, but for a brief harmonious moment, the Reds and the Rockies failed beautifully together. February game against the Arizona Coyotes, LA King Tanner Pearson didn't mean to be funny when he collided with his teammate Drew Doughty in the first period. He also didn't mean to flip heels overhead onto his backside, lose a skate blade, and shuffle awkwardly on one knee before being towed to the bench. But all those things happened in quick succession. A full barrel roll! Here we go! And on the backside when he hit the ice, the blade is no longer at the bottom of the skate. It was all glorious because nobody got hurt except for Pearson's left skate. The incident also didn't hurt the Kings' chances of winning as they beat the Coyotes 6-0. Pretty much nobody expected the Cleveland Cavaliers to win the 2018 NBA Finals, but thanks to a heroic 51-point performance from LeBron James, the Cavs actually had a chance to steal Game 1 from the Golden State Warriors. But what at first smelled like an upset ultimately reeked of a brain fart by J.R. Smith. At the end of the fourth quarter, George Hill had a chance to give Cleveland the lead at the free throw line but missed his second attempt. Smith snatched the rebound, but he was apparently oblivious to the tie score, so he dribbled the ball away from the basket. It's grabbed by J.R. Smith! Smith is going to run it out. I think J.R. didn't know how much time was left. J.R. tried to dribble up near the timeline, and we're going to overtime. The Warriors ultimately won in overtime, and James mourned his wasted efforts by punching a whiteboard and injuring his hand after the game. Athletes habitually break the laws of physics, but sometimes those laws conspire against them. Take, for example, this July contest between the Houston Astros and Oakland A's. In the bottom of the 11th, Oakland had a one-run lead and needed two more outs to put the game away. Houston tied it up, then with runners on first and second, Astros infielder Alex Bregman unleashed a mighty swing to create what he later described as the softest ball anyone's ever hit. Bregman barely made contact, and the ball landed just a few feet from home plate. Oakland catcher Jonathan LaCroix tried to tag him out but missed completely thanks to Bregman's stealthy dodge. And then, disaster struck. Everybody's in play. They both advance. The throws a win! Oh, what? The Astros are going to win it! The Astros are going to win! Unbelievable! A hockey player losing his balance on ice feels about as unnatural as a bird that hates flying. But just as real penguins can't fly, the NHL has a Pittsburgh penguin who got tripped up by the ice. Pittsburgh goaltender Tristan Jory achieved the most wins by a rookie goalie in the 2017-18 season. But one March matchup got off to a horrendous start. In the early stages of a game against the New York Islanders, Jory committed a goaltending blooper for the ages. As Islander Brandon Davidson entered the attacking zone, Jory did his best impression of a man trying to run across cartoon banana peels. And off for Bailey with Tavares, goes across for Davidson up on the rush. The backhand, he scores! Tristan Jory fell over as Davidson was going to the backhand. Luckily for Jory, his fellow Penguins didn't roast him like a turkey. Much to his relief, he saw 90% of the guys laughing. And he had the last laugh as he went on to make 25 saves and the Penguins seized victory in overtime. The WWE's 10-year contract with Saudi Arabia appears to be the gift that keeps on giving reasons to regret it. On April 27th, the greatest Royal Rumble was held in King Abdullah International Stadium in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. The event drew scorn for a Saudi-imposed ban on female wrestlers and for airing propaganda that depicted the oppressive nation as a beacon of positive change. The six-hour show featured a ridiculously bloated main event in the form of a 50-man battle royale. However, there was one diamond in the vast expanse of rough, Titus O'Neil. O'Neil was the 39th entrant in the battle royale. As he ran into the ring, announcers bragged about him rubbing elbows with important Saudi figures. Then out of nowhere, he started rubbing elbows with the floor. 
The internet lovingly dubbed the moment Titus World Slide, a reference to the wrestler's worldwide gimmick. The tale of the tortoise and the hare teaches us that slow and steady wins the race. And it also teaches you not to stop before you've finished. The hare learned that lesson the hard way, as did Israeli runner Lona Hemtai Salpeter. Salpeter's backstory could double as a real-life fable. A native of Kenya, she became romantically involved with a track coach while working as a nanny in Israel. The pair married in Kenya and eventually moved to Israel. Salpeter repeatedly applied for citizenship but got rejected for about five years. The government finally naturalized her when she qualified to compete in the 2016 Rio Games. Things went awry in Rio, but in 2018 she made history as the first Israeli woman to win gold at the European Championships. She almost won a second medal there but unwittingly removed herself from the running. While competing in the 5,000-meter race, Salpeter underestimated how much race she had left and stopped early. While celebrating the silver medal she thought she had won, she discovered she still had one lap to go. And what was Lona Salpeta thinking? She thought she'd finish. She moved over to the right-hand side of the track. Big grin on her face. Salpeter would finish fourth, but got disqualified for crossing the running lanes too early. She vowed to treat her blooper as a lesson for future races.